All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the absolute fastest, easiest, and most painless way possible to level up your weapons of choice, especially now that Warzone and Cold War has introduced two new weapons. So if you're interested in leveling up these weapons, you know, it could be very tough to level them up, especially with skill-based matchmaking and Cold War multiplayer. And, you know, it's just not fun using a weapon in Warzone if it's not maxed out to its fullest potential. So today we're going to be going over a couple tips and tricks that will help you out as fast as possible there is no need to go into cold war multiplayer and that's the best part about this some of you guys may already know about this strategy but for those out there who are new to the franchise all you have to do is play plunder so plunder is a free game mode that's offered within warzone and the best part is you spawn in right away with the gun of your choice and there's no need to you know buy a loadout there's no time wasted so this absolutely makes this the most time efficient process here you could do this solo but it'll go by so much much faster if you do party up with some teammates so once you get into plunder first thing you want to do is you want to assign roles to your teammates you guys want to have somebody going for a vehicle right away and then somebody going for a supply run so supply runs are the best objectives that you could do it takes literally seconds to finish all you have to do is just get to the objective and you have to stand there now keep in mind all your teammates have to have their weapons out in order for this to level up your weapons if you don't have it out while yourself or your teammates are capturing the objectives it's just not going to work out so you have to keep that in mind always have your weapon out at all times before you guys capture an objective so the next thing that you want all of your teammates to have are vehicles so once you get that first objective done as soon as you drop into the game this is a simple process that could be repeated so have one person in a vehicle go to a supply run that's somewhere on the map then another teammate is going to be standing by in his vehicle waiting for that objective to pop up wherever it is while that person is headed towards that specific objective the third person is going to start looking for other supply runs while that person is doing that that way there is no time wasted so as soon as that second objective gets captured that third person should already be standing by and then as soon as that objective is over he's going to grab the next supply contract and then so on and so forth so you're going to have this nice little well-oiled machine type of strategy happening between the three of you guys and just focus on getting as many contracts done as much as possible you know don't worry about killing people you could if the opportunity presents itself but for the simple fact of not wasting time at all try to get as many contracts done as much as possible and then once there are no more contracts in game then you can leave that game and it'll still save your progress towards leveling up your weapon and then queue up into another plunder match and then repeat the process so we're going to do a live demonstration here for people who are more of a visual learner i understand that this could actually be a little confusing we've got the m60 from black ops cold war it's only level two right now you're going to see how fast this gun actually levels up so we're going to do the strategy that i just explained to you guys i'm going to try to do it as efficient as possible the reason why i'm picking that chopper out there at the edge of the map is because 100% a lot of people are going to be going for this chopper that's coming up. I'm almost there. All right, so start looking for a vehicle. All right, I got the chopper. I'm, I'm headed to the objective. Ooh, it's like right here. It's very close. Okay. Make sure you have your gun out, by the way, the one that you want to level up. While you're looking for that next one, I'm going to look for another one too. I can grab this supply contract, and then whenever you get your car, you can just drive to it. I'm going to grab it. There you go. And if it's nearby me, I can just grab it. It's right there. So that's where you would want to go. Actually, I think I should grab this one since it's uphill. So just start looking for another supply contract. Like, just look on your map. It should be grayed out. Okay, I'm grabbing it. Contract complete. Your payment has been authorized. I'll be Got my right. weapon XP. There you go, I ranked up already. So I'm about to cap it right now. Make sure you have your gun out. The contract is settled. Cool. Put work out there. I'll fly. My weapon ranked up again. Okay, I got it. The contract is complete. Good Good job. Job. I'll be the pilot. 44 seconds. Ranked up again. I'll pick you up and then I'll drop you off at a helicopter. Are you getting that one? Okay, I'm gonna grab the next uh, supply contract. All right, I'm gonna grab the next one. Are you uh, headed towards it? 
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna grab another one. Good job. Enemy dropping into the AO. Yeah, I got it. Got my weapon rank up. Let's go. Oh my god, I got another car on me. What the? All right, look on your mini map. Is it closer to you? Oh, okay, good. That's perfect. Actually, perfect. All right, cool. I'm gonna grab another one. Good job. I'm about to grab one. Okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll go. I'll grab that one. Just start looking for another one. Okay. The contract is settled. Good work, Get in. Okay, I'll go through that one. Dang, weapon leveled up again. We leveled up quite a bit in just those two games only. And it just goes to show that if you do this and be as efficient as possible with your communication, you can level up your weapon really fast. And you literally don't even have to do much, but just go to the objective and that's about it. You know, no need to worry about a gunfight. No need to worry about, you know, spawning and dying too much. It's all really, really easy. And I do highly encourage you guys to try this out. The reason why you want to do this is because, of course, no one wants to deal with skill-based matchmaking in Cold War. And if you don't own Cold War, you cannot use these Black Ops Cold War weapons in Modern Warfare multiplayer. So that means that you would have to start from scratch in Warzone, you know, trying to level up your weapons. And it's just not fun competing in a battle royale if you don't have all the attachments ready. So that's why Plunder is a really great alternative to those out there who do not want to get Cold War multiplayer and also a great alternative to those who just want to avoid skill-based matchmaking at all costs. And it also does save the progress that you do in Warzone and transfers it over to Black Ops Cold War. So you'll still have your, you know, MAC-10 SMG at level 40, for example, if you leave a game of Warzone and switch over to Black Ops Cold War. So that's the absolute beauty of this part. You know, you don't need to worry about playing multiplayer at all to level up these weapons. This is definitely something I do recommend. And yeah, guys, it's a very short video, but this is something that I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys did enjoy these tips and tricks for Call of Duty Warzone and Cold War, make sure to leave a like on it and make sure to subscribe if you're brand new around here to make your way back to the channel. Let's go, baby. What's going on, guys? If you guys are trying to stay connected with me, drop me a follow on Twitter at RealTurboMan right here. Also, if you're on Instagram, I'm also on Instagram as well. Hit me up at RealTurboMan underscore and drop your boy a follow. Lastly, I am on Twitch. If you want to catch me live, twitch.tv slash TurboManTTV. Let's get it, baby.